Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. So we have necessary sacrifice here. So it says, you can't have a new beginning without letting something go. Create space for change and new things will find you, okay? So maybe um, you guys had to let something go before something could manifest. Or if you were trying to manifest, like maybe you were trying to manifest that somebody else released something else. I don't know. The manifestation has something to do with someone making a sacrifice here, like so that a new beginning can manifest someone making space. So maybe you feel like somebody like didn't make prioritize you. They didn't make. Yeah, they didn't make you a priority. Let's see. We have partnership. So we have allow supportive partnerships into your life and you will attract mutually loving relationships that will fulfill both of your needs. Hmm. I almost feel like. Let's see. We have vibrational blessings. Yeah, a subtle, powerful energy is being sent to you with rewards of pure happiness, peace, prosperity, and well-being. Yeah, you have blessings coming in, and it's because you got into the vibration for it to come in, or you're getting into the vibration. We have, yeah, advancement. You're about to level up. Prepare yourself for, to take the next step in your life and show the universe you're ready. Yeah, vibe check. Low vibe. See, there's something that you got to, like, remove from your life. Some like some type of low vibrational energy. Or somebody that's just not coming into that's does not have your best interest at heart, or like they're just not on the same level as you, or something like that. Low vibrational energies are affecting your ability to manifest your best life. So if somebody has some low vibrational people around them, and it's actually been either affecting your ability to manifest what it is what you what, what it is that you've been trying to, you know, manifest, or there's somebody around you, I mean, sir, there's somebody in your energy who has not so great people around them that have been keeping the outcome that you want with them from happening. Does that make sense? Um, clear the negative energy that is attached to you. See, somebody didn't have space for you. All right, guys, that's what I'm getting from this. Either you didn't have space to let a new person or a new beginning come in because you had to do some decluttering or somebody in your energy didn't have space for you. They didn't have the time for you. They didn't have the energy for you because they had other people in their energy. So they could have been holding on to somebody or there was something going on. Tell me about necessary sacrifice. We have new opportunities. Yeah. Better things are opening up for you. Leave the comfort zone behind and open your world to new possibilities with an open mind. So it's very necessary for somebody to like, somebody needs to get out of their comfort zone. This sacrifice is necessary for some type of new, better opportunity for better opportunity or some, a new, better situation to come together. And yeah, pre partnership. Yeah. A pressing problem meter issue has to be dealt with immediately. It's time to focus on what's important. I really feel like, guys, we have be watchful showing itself to me. Be on alert and aware of your surroundings. There's a red flag that you're ignoring. Allow the truth to be revealed. Hmm. Oh. healthy it's like yeah there's some type of healthy changes that needs to be like dealt with right like you need to do these changes like right now or this is like what somebody in your energy needs to do somebody needs to really think about what is really the most significant to them and they need to place all their focus on that there's something in your life that isn't helping your body and mind focus on creating a wellness focused mind and body it's almost like you need to not let somebody that's in a low vibrational energy come near you. And the reason why they're in such a low vibrational energy is because of them, but also because they have a lot of shitty people around them. And until they want to clean up their life, Spirit is saying that you need to start making healthier choices for yourself. You know, being more mindful about who you let come into your energy field. We have thrive here. And yeah, you will thrive. Make the best of the blessings in your life and concentrate on what's working. Your angels are clearing the way for you. And we have Angel of Dreams. Angels have been working with you during dream time by giving you important messages to help you with your situation. What's behind that? Love is in the air. So maybe they're trying to show you that there is someone's falling in love with you or that there is love in a situation or that you will be following it, falling in love. But I'm drawn to how this girl has a key in her hand. You may have the key to somebody's heart. Let falling in love teach you divine lessons as worth working on. But honest conversations will be the key to overcoming differences. No, this is somebody that you guys already know. Yeah, this ain't no new love. The spirit says it's almost there. It's like you're very close to unlocking something here with somebody. And this is something that you manifested. 
you're almost there. Don't give up. If you keep following the same path, you will soon reach your dream goal. Like I said, Spirit says you guys may be feeling like, uh, my manifestation, I don't think that's going to happen. But Spirit says you're very close. Yeah, you're very close to some type of like reconciliation or something like that. Love resurrection. A past lover is returning to your life. Listen to your intuition and be open to this reunion's lessons and blessings. We do have the invitation here too. It's almost like spirit is like saying that you're ready. Like you're like whatever it is that you've been manifesting spirit says that you're like ready for it now or you're about to be ready for it. With this almost there. Step through the golden portal and or maybe you guys are both going to be ready. Maybe the timing wasn't right. You had to do some decluttering. They had to do some decluttering. When you tried to manifest this with this person or bring this together, it just wasn't working out. And I do see that there was like a lack of compromise here. Yeah, in order to have a positive outcome for this situation, it's necessary to compromise, create a win-win solution. So I feel like you were, take out resonates, but you were maybe dealing with somebody that, you know, it was been, the situation was benefiting them, but it wasn't benefiting you. And that was unhealthy or vice versa. Okay. Um, yeah. Step through the golden portal and into your own mastery. Yeah, it's like you guys have like reached a certain level of ascension or of growth or of transformation and change uh raising your vibration that now you're ready for whatever it was that you were like whatever you were wanting or maybe both of you both maybe both you and this person are finally getting to that point where you're ready for union that's why we have vibrational the blessings here something wasn't coming together between you and somebody because you guys were on the right the right vibration for what what it is that you were wanting to happen between the two of you whether you really realize that or not so we're going to be taking a deeper look at this let's see We have six of swords. The magician in reverse. Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Justice, Libra. The lovers in reverse. Gemini. Clash for the six of swords. The Six of Wands in reverse. Mm, okay, the Magician in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. See, somebody is moving on from a situation. Somebody had a really shitty ass person around them. It could have been their, I heard their mother. It could have been, this could have also been you too, but I don't feel like it is. It's whoever you've been dealing with who is finally making the decision to move out of a very chaotic situation distance themselves from somebody or leave a situation behind accept the lesson from the situation and let it go karmic vibes right so whatever the situation was there was no reward to that situation like it was a failure that situation did not turn out successfully um they didn't get what they wanted from that situation what they wanted to manifest there it didn't manifest they didn't achieve anything but and i feel like this i don't know they have a bruised ego about something, but the magician is in reverse. They had a very manipulative person around them, and it looks like it's a feminine energy. Like, I don't know. For some of you, it is their mom, but there's a very cold-hearted, manipulative, bitter, possibly just very low vibrational person that somebody had around them that they're finally making the decision to, to distance themselves from. So that's why this is coming together. Talk about justice. We have four of cups. We have missed opportunity energy here. It's almost like somebody's not going to be satisfied until they, they make things right with you. Talk about the lovers reverse, the star. See, there is hope for this. You and this person have disconnected. All right. Um, but it's like it's there's hope with the star here, Aquarius energy. Somebody does feel like they made a bad decision, but they like there is tell me about the star before I keep blabbing. The five of cups in reverse. So somebody does regret. Yeah, they have regrets. Somebody knows that they they messed up here. They made about it. They did something wrong. <laughs> then they want to reconcile. I'm telling you, the five of swords in reverse. They want to make amends. They want to make things right with you. They have remorse. 
So what are they gonna do? The five of they're gonna try to recover this. For some of you, they're trying to work on their finance. Yeah, and the five of pentacles can be about hope returning. So yeah, the nine of pentacles. Okay. They do they're they are trying to work on their finances. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles and the five of pentacles are reverse. Both of them are in reverse, but this is somebody that is trying to focus on getting their money together. What happened? The Ace of Wands, okay. They started something new or something like that. What about the Ace of Wands? The two, yeah, they could have started a new relationship. Tell me more. But it didn't work out. I'm telling you. They started some type of new relationship. It could have been passion-based. Yeah, it could have been just like sexual or it was just fun and new and exciting. Um, and I don't think that that... That that led to chaos. Tell me about the temperance reverse. Yeah, the king of swords reverse. Ooh. We have the queen and the king of swords here. In reverse. Ooh, they got with somebody that was just... What is... Tell me more about that. Yeah, the seven of cups. They, they got together with another person that's delusional as hell. Just as delusional as them. They got together with somebody who... Some type of illusion. And I was kind of getting that. Oh, they didn't see something clearly. First of all, guys, I feel like they got together with somebody that's just like them. And second of all, they got they got together with somebody who they couldn't at the time. It was something was an illusion about this person. Tell me more. Yeah, but now they see it. What are they seeing now? Knight of Pentacles. The world in reverse. They feel like things are not over. But what did they realize about this illusion? What did they see about this person? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That this person was selfish and they were a gold. For some of you, they were a gold digger. That they were very like, didn't have their shit together. They were very materialistic, just jealous. Ooh, they could have realized that somebody was just doing something out of jealousy too. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. There was like a lot of conflict in, within a home situation, within a work situation, Do lots of jealousy here, greedy. Yeah. Somebody was maybe possessive over them. That's why they did like, I don't know, but insecure, like they, mm -mm. so what now with that situation? I do see that they're deciding to move from, move on from that. Yeah. They're not talking to that person no more. What about page of swords reverse? The three of swords reverse. I feel like somebody played them for a fool or something like that. Somebody told them that something was going to be a certain way and it wasn't like that. We do that. Why is the three of swords reversed though? The moon. Okay. And what was hidden? The fool. The king of cups are reversed. They like went into a situation with somebody that they don't love. What is the... If this part... Tell me about the three of swords reversed. The strength reverse. It's almost like this person didn't feel he healed enough. Like, they didn't feel healed enough to be with somebody like you because they're very emotionally unavailable. So know the king of cups are, or for some of you, what's the wheel of fortune? The M okay. Okay. It's funny how that card came out like this and then it flipped over. So spirit is saying that this person is going through a transformation. Yeah, they cha they're changing. They're stepping into their emperor energy, Aries. Yeah, the, what about the Six of Cups, though? The Three of Cups reverse. Oh. Why? Ooh. Turn up the Sign of Swords. The Chariot. It's almost like... Uh, this person has a distorted perception of love, guys. Like, I feel like they didn't feel good enough for you, okay? And I feel like they went towards a... Like, what they think love is, is not what love is. Like, they chose somebody that doesn't love them, maybe just use them, or... It's like, how do I put this? I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to you guys. They went towards a situation with somebody that didn't really love them and that they didn't really love. But it's because of their distorted perception of what love is. It's like, they didn't feel good enough for you, so they ran towards a situation that they felt was in, in alignment with their level of self-love, okay? Which is not very much, if at all. So they ran towards somebody that is a reflection of them not having self-worth. They, it, I don't know, guys. Like, they they didn't feel worthy of you. They felt inadequate. It's like they didn't feel like they were ready to be with somebody like you. 
So it's almost like for somebody, they knew this person didn't love them. Like they knew that this person didn't really love them or was wanting them for the wrong reasons. And wow, yeah, they thought this, they knew this person didn't want them because they were in love with them and they wanted to be with them. They knew that this person wanted them for superficial reasons or not for the right reasons. And I feel like they were there because of their level of, because of how unhealed they are, it's much easier to accept that situation than it is to accept somebody that genuinely loves the hell out of them and wants to be with them. I know that that's crazy, but it's like this person didn't know. I'm the divine feminine card showing it such me. So they didn't know how to accept your divine feminine. Um, I mean, it could be divine masculine too, but I'm just seeing the divine feminine card. They didn't know how to accept your divine feminine energy, your love, your compassion, your softness, your understanding, like your empathy, your nurturing. They didn't know how to accept that because I don't think they've ever gotten that before. So... I don't know. I'm still kind of getting that. It could have been more. It could have been. I was kind of getting like, um, mm, I don't know. So I'm kind of for some of you getting a mother figure. I'm going to just throw that out there. But what else do they need to know about this situation, Spirit? Like they had never experienced somebody like you before and they mishandled you like i don't know they didn't know how to handle you they or they didn't think they were ready to handle somebody like you yep you scared them exactly guys what did i just say the unknown the unknown scares them they see the abundance you bring into their life but they fear being wrong yeah yeah fool and they feel dumb now yeah they feel stupid they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection but too embarrassed to come forward we have break breaking free. So now they want to leave a situation. Yeah. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't we already say that? There was something that they needed to release, move on from, that was blocking this from coming together. But we have divinely guided here. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. We have coldness. Okay, so this person feels you pulling away from them. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Yep, because there's there's a strong energetic connection between you and this person. There's, you know, a telepathic connection. But maybe they're not feeling you as much or something like that. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are solely living imprints upon their heart. We have exhausted. Yeah, they. I told you, they had a lot of decluttering to do, guys. And that was why, this, that was a big part of the reason. And not just people. It was like they needed to heal. They needed to release some things within themselves. Even some ways of thinking about themselves. Heavy on that. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. And we have solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. So they maybe have been spending more time alone or they've been they've been away from you. You know what I mean? Like they there's been separation there's been distance and that's given them a chance to kind of look at things differently but yeah they were definitely resisting this connection because they didn't know how to accept this and maybe they come from a long line of like you know like you know how do i say this like you know like they maybe came from a family that wasn't very lovey-dovey or that or like they had an emotionally unavailable parents or p parent or whatever it's like something to do with their ancestral karma they're like you know like what is this uh what is it called generational trauma yeah it's like the way that their mom or their dad was raised, their mom or dad raised them that way. And it's just like, and it was neither way was good. It's just, they're clearing negative ancestral patterns that are passed on through the generations. Don't rush the journey. See what I'm, I'm, why do I keep getting that mother wound thing? This person maybe had a, like, they have a mother around them that didn't love them the right way or something like that. Like, I don't know what kind of love their mom gave them, but it's like, that's why they were not accept, accepting your they maybe went towards somebody that was like their mom. Yeah, whoever this other per or it could be their dad, right? If it's, you know, take out resonates, but it's like they could have chosen to go towards somebody that was like their mom because that's like the, the, the love, quote unquote, they received from their mother. It's weird. They're maybe starting to realize that that isn't love. That's toxic. They did. They have a jealous mom. I don't know what that's, I don't know, guys. Especially with ancestral karma coming out. Beauty and grace, yeah. They find you extremely beautiful, but you're beautiful. See, somebody is jealous of you guys. And I really hope it's not their mom. I'm just all I'm going to say. But I do feel like there was a karmic in the mix, too. I mean, I do feel like there's a mother. 
like this mom, like for instance, but them thinking like this, this, this mother is jealous of your looks. They could have wanted, made your, wanted your person to go towards somebody that they felt wasn't as attractive as you. Like, isn't that messed up? Like somebody is intimidated by like how, how graceful you are, just who you are, the way you look. Wow. That's weird. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. And then we have sexual union on the back of the deck. So, ooh, ever since they had, you know, it, for the, this is probably for those, if you haven't been sexual with this person, then this probably isn't your reading. If you haven't had sex with them. But it says, their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. And it says, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So... You know, you guys know what I say. I don't know if you, I always say you guys snatch this person's soul because it's just looking like they, they, they've they been with you and it's just not the same. They used to be a player. They used to like to deal with more than one person at once. And that used to be somewhat fulfilling to them or whatever. They like doing that. They don't like it anymore. <laughs> they don't like having multiple people anymore. But I definitely feel like you separated yourself from them and you started focusing on yourself because you were dealing with a very emotionally unavailable person and you felt like you, you, it was, a, it was a losing battle. You were wasting your time. You couldn't do anything. So they kept betraying you, but just know that you have, that you've left a permanent mark on this person and they're not going anywhere. They're watching you too. By the way, music can be significant to this connection, but yeah, they'll be back guys. They're going to come in and start trying to fight for you. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. So that emotionally unavailable shit's going out the window. And we have resurrection. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. So something you guys thought was never going to happen. Spirit says, you guys are starting to lose faith that your prayer was going to get answered. But Spirit says, it's coming. <laughs> so and some of you guys are like, I don't even want that person anymore. Well, it's, you don't have to take this person back. But what you manifested is still coming in. All right, and that to me shows me that like there was something faded about that outcome. If it hap if this person comes in, that means that there was something faded about that. But um yeah.